All right, uh, I've got a 555 oscillator timer circuit here. It's a real basic one. And uh, we'll start it up here to see if we can power this, uh, this, uh, these two pencils here in the uh, salt water with the cardboard they're going through to keep them separated. Uh, earlier we showed a on the hydrogen electrolyzer page on uh, www.making-hydrogen.com just showed a simple hydrogen electrolyzer with these two pencils hooked directly into the battery. Now we've got this circuit here to see if uh, whoops, if uh, we can make it change the uh, uh, get more hydrogen out of there. Uh, we're just totally experimenting here. I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to produce any more hydrogen or not. Um, so it's just a basic circuit and hopefully I'll be able to find a, a circuit uh, with the MOSFET IRR 510. But anyway, let's, let's go on and proceed. Now, I've got this loud speaker here. I'm going to make this so it's quiet um, by pulling this wire out here. And we'll put this resistor in place the wire. I just basically have it there so I know that the uh, 555 timer is uh, oscillating or pulsing. Um, and you can see the LEDs right here probably that are blinking back and forth. And we got these variable resistors right here. We'll slow these down. You can see the hydrogen electrolyzer bubbles going over here and uh, we'll speed this up and see if it changes anything. I'm going to just kind of be quiet now and uh, not narrate. You can just kind of observe what's going on here. And just later on I'll have a, this circuit up on my website makinghydrogen.com. That's making-hydrogen.com where, where we explore uh, different circuits and different ideas uh, from a scientific standpoint and also from a, a do-it-yourself approach hope to hell it doesn't blow us up <laughs> but having fun while you're doing it at any rate, here we go, let's make this louder you can see the hydrogen bubbles going, I'm going to make this go faster now let's just slow her down here and you can see it's producing less bubbles it looks like. Let's speed it up. Yeah, it looks like it's producing more bubbles. At the moment I'm seeing that uh, if we hook it straight into the battery it uh, makes... No, oh, you can't even see that. Let me get this zoomed in here and you'll see what I'm talking about. We'll get that annoying sound out of the way here. Now I'm just going to leave the camera right here. Now, you can see on the right, that's the one that's got the hydrogen coming out of it on the uh, negative uh, cathode side. And on the left side is, is most likely uh, chlorine gas coming off from the salt. Let me get that noise out of the way here. So I've disconnected the speaker. The main reason I had the speaker in there is just another method of showing that the uh, 555 timer uh, circuit is actually oscillating and making a pulse. And I don't know if you can see these LEDs or not. We'll kind of slide these over by the circuit. I was keeping the water separate uh, just in case it bubbled over, but obviously it's not doing much. So I don't know. Let me check to see if you can see those. LEDs, no you can't, so let's just kind of wide zoom this out a little bit. You can see the LEDs right there. We'll zoom in on on that. You can kind of see the hydrogen gas there on the left. 
Now I'm going to adjust these resistors and we'll see if it goes any faster. Producing hydrogen. And actually, this might slow it down. I've just slowed the circuit down. I can't tell if it's going any slower or not, so I might need to redo this video and make it more professional. Now I'm going to just leave that right there. You can actually see that red light blinking on the pencil. It's just a reflection. Now uh, I'm going to hook the battery directly to it and you watch what happens. I'll bet you it produces more hydrogen. Let's do that real quick. So I'm going to unhook this circuit. And you'll probably see the hydrogens quit doing its thing. We're going to take this circuit completely out of the equation here. And uh, we're going to hook the batteries directly to the uh, two pencils. And you watch this. I think it's going to be faster producing hydrogen. Oh shit, let's see. Oh, it might help if I don't hook it straight in the ohmmeter. I need to hook it into the <laughs> voltmeter, I should say. I don't want to blow the ohmmeter out. So, we're hooking it directly in. Now you look at that. I don't know, I'll have to watch the video again after I put it up on YouTube, but I think it's producing more hydrogen with the batteries. These here. Oh, moving the pencil around, that ain't good. I'm pretty sure that it's producing more hydrogen, or, but you know, I'm not real sure. Now I look at it, it looks like it might be, I just don't know. If anybody that's watching this and visits more visits my website happens to know a way to make a successful 555 timer circuit with a MOSFET IRF 510 um, do a pulse width modulation on on pencils uh, or you know anything that people have found to be a good hydrogen generator let me know I'm still learning on this myself as, as we go along, I'll be honest with you. So I'm searching for the truth, uh, what works and what doesn't. So at any rate, uh, tune in next time and uh, please uh, leave me your comments uh, so I can make the site better so you'll have more up-to-date information. And if anybody knows of a way to make a successful PWM pulse width modulating uh, hydrogen generator with a 555 timer circuit and that actually works uh, with pencils because I'm trying to do it with pencils right now. I know that they're a high resistance with the pencils with the water in between um, and I guess what I could try is using uh, like plates and stuff like what I've seen people use but since I've all I've just got these pencils here I, that's all I got. So, at any rate, thank you very much for tuning in.